Hey guys, it's Black Venom from UXX, and today I'll be showing you how to do packet injection over a network um, by using the functions in Backtrack, such as Airpoon and Airmon and all those other different handy tools inside Backtrack version 4. Okay, well, let's get started. First, you want to open up, you know, console and um, use the console, but when you're doing Airpoon you want to have two different files, you want to have a config file, a content folder and a HTML inside that folder. Uh, the config file should have begin greet underscore HTML and the rest of the code and the uh, greet.html should be inside the content folder. I'll be giving you the codes inside the description of my YouTube video so you don't have to type it out. Um, yes, the response is sort of like a file location to go to content slash greet.html and then that the config file will execute that HTML. So when Airpoon uses that config file, Airpoon will thus uh, use the config file to locate the other HTML to inject that HTML into the client's PC. Um, the HTML code that I'll be using is just on the screen as it is. The title is pinned by 1337 Elite and the uh, text is going to be owning the airways and it will be showing the laughing man picture. Yeah. Okay. So that code will also be inside the, the description of the YouTube video. Okay, let's start with if config uh, wlan0, which is my wireless interface card, um, on channel 1 and up, so that will turn on my WLAN interface on channel 1 on pretty much. Then you want to type airmon.ng and tab that across and then go start WLAN 0. So again, my wireless interface on channel 1. So that will start, uh, that will enable monitor mode on my wireless interface card on channel 1 so it won't be channel hopping when I'm injecting my packets across the network. Okay, and then you want to do Airpoon <clears throat> and for me the, at the bottom it shows all the supported drivers and I will be using ZD1211RW as that works the best with my wireless interface card. You would have to go through them all to figure out which one works the best with yours. If none of them work, chances are your card's not supported by Airpoon. Okay, then you want to use airpoon d, then the driver. So for me, it's zd1211rw k, then your wireless encryption code. So mine's WEP, so I just do out my um, WEP code with uh, the, the colons in the middle, middle of each, um, each two, two letters. After you do that, you want to do dash C to locate your config file. You can tab that across as well. Dash I uh, to use the interface you want, which I'll be using Mon0, which we created up the top. As you can see, the interface will be running on Mon0. And that code will be using the config file. Dash VBV, which is just sort of a output. output um, refresh rate sort of thing. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go to your client's PC uh, and test it out, I guess. You go open up into Explorer and there you have it. You have, you have um, the website trying to load Google. But yeah, you can see it trying to load Google, but the packets are injected through my computer into the client's PC, both through wireless. Um, <coughs> so pretty much when we stop that command running by control C we can um we can get the client to load its web pages again but yeah that's that's pretty pointless if if, if you're wanting the whole ability to not let them load web pages. So 
So we'll just show you that once it's off, you can load your web pages all fine. Yep. Just chuck open Internet Explorer again. Yeah, and bam, and Google, and it's all working. Okay, and then once we start this back up again, it will inject the HTML which I created into into the air, and then the other computer will take the first packet it sees and use that as the correct packet when actually it isn't. So <clears throat> we'll go back to uh, Google, try it again, and boom. It finds our um, packet, our HTML page that we created before. And when you try other websites like YouTube and all that, it, w it won't go to them because um, you've got your packet injection all worked out. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Well, thanks for watching. Um, uh, and subscribe to my account and watch my other videos.